again, we are back in Got Samui, our favorite place in Thailand. This time coming back though, we can feel that this island is just buzzing with tourists. So join us today as we discover some new places and revisit some of our favorite places on this beautiful island. Chorizo pasta. For but breakfast? It, it's brunch. This is brunch. We're trying out this new spot here in Samoy called Pai. It's in the area of Changmon, which we actually don't venture out to too often. We heard about this new place, so we wanted to come try, and it looks amazing. Look at this. Look at all the people here. Okay, you can, go, you can go ahead and eat your fries. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite. <laughs> How is it? So wonderful. Oh, you know that truck? Mm. It actually belongs to that hotel right there. That hotel owns the whole island. So in order to transport their guests, they have to use this like four-wheel truck to drive through the water. I've seen photos of that hotel. I think it's called Cape Fan and it is like an isolated island and I always wondered how do you get there especially when it's high tide so that's pretty cool I think the rooms are like 20,000 baht a night or something like that we'll just look from here <laughs> anyways this pasta is really good the chorizo is so good the mushrooms the parmesan cheese and pasta is perfectly cooked have two? Yeah, have <laughs> <laughs> One more, yeah? No more. Yeah, yeah, it's really <laughs> enough tattoo. I have enough tattoo here. <laughs> One good thing about it is that it doesn't hurt. True. And the last whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Kapun Tam. Look at this. I got beetroot salad. See, one thing I like about coming back to our island, the island of Gosumu, is that we get to be healthier. Mm -hmm. We get to go back to our routine, we get to hit the gym, we get to do the things that we are familiar with. So it's always nice to be home. We have been living here for almost three years and we have never been to this beach. Yeah, we wouldn't have come here if not for this place. Yeah. Because I always thought that this area, like this bay, is private place and only access to the hotel. The sand is so soft. Look at this. Oh my god. like <laughs> <laughs> To okay, let's see if it's nice and body temperature. Oh. This is actually the perfect amount of water for us who are not great swimmers. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Do you need help? Because <laughs> it's shallow, it's kind of hard to uh, balance. The first time we came to Gasamoy was for our honeymoon in 2013. 10 years ago. Yeah, and we fell in love with this place and we had talked about it for years. So it's pretty crazy that it's a reality now that we call this place home. We have been having such great weather here in Gasamoy. Yeah, this is what it usually is. We did make a few videos of rainy season which was very depressing. Yeah. <laughs> but this, this is what majority of the year is like in Gasumwe. It's so beautiful. This is such a perfect place to get a massage, isn't it? Look at the location of this place. And you <laughs> get the, the ocean. natural sound of the waves. <laughs> 
so we were just chilling over there when we heard a lot of sound coming from this side so we thought we would walk down Chengman Beach and see what we find. There's a lot of beach massage places now that we're kind of walking down here and a lot of resorts. And hidden cafes. But further down there is some sort of event going on. I think it's like a volleyball competition. Could be. Beach volleyball. Let's go check it out. Ice cream. That actually looks good. I want big rocket. One big rocket. She's being honest. She said it's 100 baht cheap at 10% markup. <laughs> Rocket. Yeah. And then uh, a rainbow. Yeah. Mm. One hundred for two. Do you have cash? Yeah. <laughs> okay, because I don't have cash. Okay, you know. Because the people who are traveling are already there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Once again. Do you know how to play volleyball? Yes. Actually, I used to try it out in high school. I was really good, but I was way too short. <laughs> There's so many new beach bars, beach clubs that are open that we haven't seen before. Like, I've heard of this one as well, Carnival Beach Village. Never knew it was here. It's quite a nice area to stay. So one thing we do notice is that not just the beaches are really busy, but also the road has become really busy in Samui. There's a lot more taxis, there's lots more of the uh, trucks and motorbikes, which also unfortunately means we've been seeing a lot more accidents happening. So if you are coming to Samui and you're planning on driving or renting a bike, even just walking and crossing the street, just be extra careful because there's a lot of traffic going on. here to the plaza the green night market we haven't been here in a while so it looks a bit different looks like there are some new vendors there's so much more variety lots of snacks lots of delicious looking food okay so it's like chewy flour with coconut flakes I feel like we don't see this one very often, so we should get it. <laughs> These are nam pig. I love them. They are Thai side dipping sauce. Sometimes they use fermented fish. Sometimes they use just pork or eggplant or water cockroaches. This is the water cockroaches. Oh really? You want to try it again? No. Give it a chance? No? Okay. I remember not liking it. So a lot of the vendors are still setting up because we're here quite early. It's only 5 p.m. But we like coming to night markets a bit earlier because then the food is hot and it's full and it's fresh. This market is busy, but it's not crazy busy like mm -hmm. the one in Bobfoot because majority of the people here are local people. Yeah, and even the food choices are more catered to like local taste buds. Yeah. And there's some things that we don't really see in a more touristy market, which is neat. It's not a big place, but there's some nice choices. I spotted something over there. Look they, at the lineup though. Yeah, they just finished setting up this Thai dessert shop and there's already a lineup. I already picture in my head. I have at least two things that I want. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks good. 
It's like uh, coconut sticky rice with corn. Let's get that one. And? And pumpkin with custard. But I see a lot of people getting that one. This? Yeah. This is kanom ko. So it's like chewy flour with uh, brown sugar inside. Palm sugar inside. Yeah. I think we should get that too. Yeah. I'll need a half. Yeah. I think Thai desserts are definitely underrated. Yeah. Like there's so many types and people only think about mango sticky rice. Or what's another popular one? See? That's the problem. It's underrated. <laughs> there's so many other yeah. different types that most foreigners don't know about. But I feel like the reason they don't like it because a lot of Thai desserts have this texture, like a chewy... The chewy, texture. glutinous rice texture. And it's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really seem like a dessert. And majority of them are eaten warm. And I don't feel like Thai people eat their desserts after a meal. I think Thai desserts are more like a snack. Yeah, we eat whenever we feel like <laughs> we want to eat Thai desserts. So if you're interested in checking out this local market, it is called Plaza the Green and it is open only Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesdays and around 5, 5.30 until 9 p.m. 9 p.m. This is one of our favorite sunset spots in this side of the island, which is called Ban Rak. And we're only around a minute or two away from the night market we were just at. This is also the pathway that leads to the Big Buddha. Seems like a lot of people are having the same ideas as we do. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want a nice cocktail or something like that, there are so many sunset bars just right on this side as well but this way is way cheaper way cheaper <laughs> and the view is the same <laughs> let's try the tiny isan sausage oh always good but the proper way to eat it is to taste it with some fresh cabbage and Thai green chili and pickled ginger Mmm. Mmm. So delicious, right? Mm hmm And just like two baht each. Someone sneaked in a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> it was so tempting. <laughs> I know, I was thinking the same, so I'm glad you got it. Oh. You never had this before. No, I don't think so. Let me make one for you, yeah? Okay. I feel like you're cleaning your hand more than making me food. Are you cleaning your hand? <laughs> no. I'm trying to make it nice and dense for you. <laughs> Here you go. That's the perfect bite. Oh, that's really yummy. It obviously tastes like fish, but it's like... A it's not fishy. It's not like fishy. Now I know what you mean. Because they put a lot of herbs in there. A lot of herbs and chili. Mmm. This one is one of my favorites. It's like a glutinous rice ball. Outside is shredded coconut. And inside is palm sugar. And the best way to show you is I eat one. Mmm. You get the palm sugar? Oh, it's dripping. It's a hot, I guess. The palm sugar melted. This is really good. Now, this is the rare one to find. It's called Khanom Jak because it's wrapped in Jak leaf. Wow. See, as I said before, Thai snacks have the same texture. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you so much for joining us in Got Some Moi today. And we hope you will add some moi to your list because it is the most 
beautiful place, we think, in all of Thailand. The best place on earth. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye-bye.